Hey Deckers, today I want to talk to you about Decky Recorder, a new way of being able to screen record your Steam Deck. Now obviously there is a performance hit to this, so we'll get onto that in a little while, as well as a few other points around this. But first of all, there's two images here, one and two. One is recorded via a capture card, so off of the deck completely, and the other is using Decky Recorder. So can you tell the difference between these two and see which one is Capture Card and which one is Decky Recorder? I'll come back to this to give a review in a short while, but first let's get on to what this is and how to install it. Decky Recorder is a plugin for Decky Loader. If you don't have Decky Loader installed, check out our Ultimate Decky Loader Guide and get that on your Steam Deck. Open up the Decky Marketplace and just scroll down to D or search for Decky Recorder and hit install on this. It's now up to version 0.10 at the time of this video. And then all you need to do is go into your Decky plugin section, pick Decky recorder, and we have the start recording option. Now by default, this is an MP4, but you can also record in MKV and dot movie as well. If you're gonna be doing lots of editing off the deck, then dot move is probably the preferred format here. Any of your screen recordings will automatically go into your videos folder in desktop mode under home videos. But for some reason, when I went to view these, my Steam Deck didn't have a video player installed. I'm not sure why this is, but if you do come across this, you can just hit the get more apps from discover button at the bottom, which will open the discover store. And I went straight for VLC media player as I've used this on my PC for a long, long time and is just a great simple media player. So if you do need it, just hit the install on VLC and you'll now be able to play your recordings from Decky Loader in desktop mode. Now file size between .moves and .mp4 are pretty much the same. And just to show that it does capture over the minimum 30 frames per second. So it does have variable frame rate capture. The Decky Recorder should be able to record up to 60 frames per second perfectly fine and the file size seems to be around 20 meg per minute. Okay back to the side by side images then. The capture card is actually the one on the left here and the Jackie Loader recording is the one on the right. I did find that in comparison to what I'm used to, Decky Loader's contrast was a little bit on the higher side and the depth of the blacks wasn't quite as high, but it's more than good enough for most circumstances for recording. Now, what about the performance I hear you say? Yes, recording does have a hit on the performance and it doesn't matter where you record, that's always going to be the case. So on the left here, we have not recording and on the right, we have Decky Loader recording and you can see that the GPU usage is actually a fair amount higher as you would expect. GPU is up to around 5% higher when recording, which isn't a huge amount, but maybe enough to cap it out on some games. And on the CPU side, we do take a bit of a bigger hit with up to 10% extra usage on the CPU side for the encoding. So be aware that if you are capping out on games, then recording is probably going to push your Steam Deck over the edge. So you want to allow at least 5% GPU and 10% CPU if you're planning on recording in your games so that you don't run into issues. Hopefully we'll get some keybinds coming soon so that we can start and stop that without having to go into the Decky Loader menu. Most people are probably going to be requesting some type of shadow play where it constantly records the last X minutes and then you just have the option to save that at a given time so that you can just capture the last couple of minutes for those epic game moments. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this and whether you're going to be picking it up anytime soon. We'll keep our eye on updates as always, so make sure that you've got Decky Loader installed. And don't forget to check out our latest game updates that were updated as verified or playable this week. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.